All right, everyone. Hello. <laughs> Dang it. Volume is not coming through. Oh. There we go. Now we should have some volume. Great. There we go. Welcome back, everybody, to our Raising Money for Nepal with the Rebuild Nepal Education Foundation Randomizer for Nepal Marathon. We are back with Hollow Knight and Margo the Moonlight going to be running the randomizer. You are welcome to take it away and have some fun down in the caves. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm Margo. Uh, my pronouns are she, her, and my handle is Margo in the Moonlight. I mainly play randomizers and indie games, and I'm joined by my awesome host, the infamous bug, which is funny because this is a bug game, so it's pretty fitting. I like it. I'm I'm not biased at all in my love of this game, despite not playing the randomizer. <laughs> well, maybe I'll make you want to play it, which would be awesome. Um, so I'm honored to participate in this charity marathon uh, and be able to help raise money for Rebuild Nepal uh, Education Foundation through Randomizer for Nepal. Uh, for those who don't know, I'll do just a little uh, uh, summary of what they do. It's, um, it's an organization that has been helping the people of Nepal after the devastating earthquake of 2015, notably by giving access to quality education to children from less fortunate families, as well as school supplies, food, clothes, etc. You can type ch uh, exclamation mark charity in chat for more information and exclamation donate for the donation link. There's also a pinned message if you want to donate. So, this is Hollow Knight. This is an amazing game, an amazing Metro Metroidvania by Team Cherry. Uh, and it's one of my favorite games ever. Uh, I have a few hundred hours in the game, mainly Randomizer. I've played the... Sorry, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I played the, um, the vanilla game once all the way through and I started again recently, but that's about it. But I've played a lot of Randomizer, uh, so I wanted to showcase it for you today. Um, about the settings, let's clear this. So we have every item type randomized, except Rancid Eggs, Grimkin Flames, Boss Essences, and Journal Entries. There are no required skips, all progression items are duped. Uh, so there's two of everything, but they're not in logic, so it could be in a place that uh, is re the item is required to reach, but that's fine. And I accept, and I um, put two more payloads in as well. It's a very it's very basic, but I just wanted to like show it around and like it's also for the interest of time because it's already a really long game. And uh, I think we can start the, the randomization and start the game. Sounds good. Yay. Whenever you are ready, do you want to count in? Oh, sorry, I just went. Oh, you're good to go. <laughs> I just went. Uh, so I start with a thousand geo, which is the, the currency in the game. Oh, that's a good start. We get my favorite or is it my favorite i guess the the most damaging spell in the game is our first check which is awesome uh so i start with a thousand geo because early game you need a lot of money uh so that would just make things a little easier for the shops um but yeah uh, geo is the currency, so as you can see, a lot of geo rocks is what we call them. And um, also, I wanted to mention uh, we have incentives. Uh, there's an incentive to show an Easter egg, and there is um, a poll which you can donate 
to change the skin at any time during the run. The most uh, donated to skin, like which has the most donations, uh, is the skin that I'll be using. So this is just normal uh, night, um, but we can change to Hornet or Little Grim or Link or what's the other one? Solaire, which is fun. So what's your first go to skin? So I like Hornet a lot. I've been I have played a lot with Hornet, but uh, recently I've used Little Grim which is really well done. And I've never played with Solaire, which I want to, uh, because I love Dark Souls. Um, but uh, I haven't, for some reason, tried it yet. So I would be interested in trying Solaire. And Link is always a nice of a fan favorite, I guess. It's Link. How can you go wrong with Link? Right? How could I not include it? And it's really nice because I can uh, switch to it anytime during the run. So that's pretty nice. So this is our town, Dirtmuth. Dirtmuth. And this is our first bench. You can equip charms at benches, but I don't have a charm yet. And this is our first ch ah, shop. Papanada. Papanada. <laughs> and uh, we have some money items. And we have a charm, which is pretty good. I'll buy it. It's pretty cheap. So I'll equip it. Uh, it will give me, I think, four. Yes. Four extra temporary hearts. So that's pretty nice, especially in the beginning where you don't have a lot of uh, hearts, which are masks in this instance. So this is Forgotten Crossroads, our first big area. Um, and we're gonna visit a friend. Oops, okay. It's very sad. And we need to find his little grubs for him. Uh, we have a tram pass at one grub, so that's good. Simple key at 17 grub. And mark of pride, but it's a little expensive, at 12 grubs. So what I really... Wait, let me just check that again. What I really need... Uh, okay, 17 is the number I have to remember. So, yeah, this game is pretty amazing. It's a hard game, but I really recommend it for anyone because it's, it's a fair, it's a fair hard game, you know? And it's... Not to mention there's bugs. There's what? I said bugs. There's bugs. I mean, exactly. Better. Right? I agree. Bugs are cool. <laughs> um, and uh, it's really easy to set up the randomizer, or any mod for that, for that matter. Um, just look up... Oops. Just look up Scarab. Hollow Knight on Google, you'll get a GitHub page and you just have to download it and run it. It has all the mods, you just have to click install and enable and uh, you open the game and bam, you have your mods. So it's very, very um, easy to set up and I really recommend it. By the way, I will enable the map real quick. There we go. You can see all the the warping benches here. And so you can look at the map. Uh, the, the tracker is in game, so that's also really handy. Um, 
and you can see all the checks and it's an auto tracker. So many cool and original bug designs in this game. That's true. I feel like having the in-game tracker makes it so much better because I would get so scared for how much is in this game. Yes. Uh, I, I, whoops. I um, enabled a lot of items because I'm just used to it and uh, just going through the motion of going through an area and checking all the checks. Um, oops. But, oh yeah, I have Howling Wraith. Forgot. It's not the best for this enemy, but... One thing I noticed right away, too, is that you can kind of bounce on spikes, but it's still a one-shot. How hard is it to burn that skill? Uh, it's just a pogo. Like, uh, you get used to it. Like, at first, it's a little difficult to downward attack all the time, but honestly, um, you get used to it. Uh, I hope I don't die to this. This is the first boss I do in every rando, but it's not the first... Oh! There it is. It's not the first boss you're supposed to do. It's pretty tanky, so you have to... be patient. We have our first instance of Cornifer here. Um, what do we have? Just money that's not worth it at all. Um, Cornifer is... In vanilla, he gives you the map. You need the map to be able to... Uh, you need him to be able to see the map at all. Otherwise, and this game is pretty convoluted. So he, when you hear his little song, you're very happy the first time you play the game and you don't know. <laughs> because you're probably very lost and you probably need some guidance to where you are. So... He's sounds a... like me daily. <laughs> uh, he's a pretty... Um, happy... It's a happy sound to hear him hum his little song. You can also see his little uh, map paper all around that leads to him. It's pretty nice. We haven't uh, gotten many things yet. We got Howling Wraith right away, which I haven't shown while well, I did, but uh, this is this is it. It's whoops, great slash. This is a, a hold and release attack. I barely use it. I use it for one instance, and it's not even uh, for combat. I mean, I guess there's one enemy I use it for in combat, but that's all. Uh, whoopsie! Oh, I tried to do a thing that everyone, like the good, the good players, <laughs> do with the spike. You can send the spike and uh, kill the two enemies in one shot, but I haven't practiced that at all. So this is a relic, Hellenist seal. You can sell them to one of the shopkeeper. Uh, for money. We will be using that feature for sure. Uh, but yeah, we haven't had that many things yet. Uh, Howling Wraith is really nice. Uh, it, it's an upward spell and it can hit up to four times. It's the most damaging spells of them all. Wanderer's Journal is another relic. Um. For the settings you're using in this one, I have seen a couple runs before where there's things like the uh, claws that let you climb walls. Um, mm -hmm. Are you using the settings where you just get all the claws at once, or do you have like left claw and right claw? Because I've seen that setting. Yes, so Ventral Spirit, that's our second spell. Um, so uh, there you get them at once, like in the vanilla game, uh, in, this, in, this, in these settings. Uh, just for the interest of time again, but I do like to split them sometimes when I do 
randos that come my in my own. Oh! Okay, so we get Lorien, which is one of the three dreamers that you need to complete the game here. I'm not gonna pick it up yet because when I pick up a dreamer, it will change the way the crossroads work and how it will put more like harder enemies and stuff. So I will wait a little bit. I will remember that it's there and maybe I'll get it last or something. I'll just remember that it's there. It's cheap too, so. so. Mm -hmm. So the more the dreamers you kill or pick up, I guess in this case, mm -hmm. or acquire, the harder the game gets. Does that apply just to the crossroads? Is that everything? Yes, it's just the crossroads. Um, it just makes the crossroads infected. So the enemies that were pretty puny, I guess, at first, now can become way harder and take more damage, etc. So. Um, so, at least while I'm here, also it um, it cuts off some some um, some places, so you can't um, you can't go through one place to the other as easily. So we wish we would go up here, but we can't. <laughs> so we'll come back later. And um, we have. Our first... No, that's not our first friend. We've seen friends already. This is Sly. We'll see him uh, soon. Again. We just saved him from being infected himself. Just by talking to him. It's pretty easy. More money. Also, I didn't explain, but uh, the spells um, consume soul, which is the white oh, mask shard. It's like a piece of heart in in Zelda, um, which is the 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 white circle you can see on the top left. And a recovering soul is done by hitting enemies. They all cause the oops the same amount of soul. Uh, but they do different things. I haven't shown Vengeful Spirit. It's like a fireball. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but it's pretty... Um, it's, it's pretty versatile, I would say. It's fast. It's... You hit from a distance, so it's pretty nice. Howling Wraith, like, you sometimes like a, get hit like when you... Fireball's the one I used the most when I played. Yeah. Um, when I played for the first time, I didn't use any spells <laughs> ever. I used only my nail, the, the weapon. Uh, I, I started using spells only when I started like knowing the game better. It wasn't like in my... Wasn't like yeah, I, I didn't have the reflex to use the spells at all. But they're very powerful. But yeah, Ventral Spirit is 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 nice to use for sure. This is one of the first enemies that is a little, a little difficult to beat the first time you play. Uh, also, it does double damage, which is... Or two damage instead of one. Where do we have three shards? That's pretty good. Um, so this is the whole map. This is a big game, just so you know. <laughs> um, as you can see, so this is the map with all the checks. I have my little pointer. I can go to a bench, hold X, and it will teleport me to it. So that's pretty nice. It makes things easy. Wait, what am I doing? Oh yeah. 
I got lost a little bit. You can't normally teleport like that in game, can you? No, not at all. You can't go to Ben. You have to. The only way you can travel fast in the game is through stags, um, which the way the place I was just at was a stag station, and there are I don't know how many, like maybe ten uh, in the game. And but you have to walk everywhere. You can't warp to benches. Um, you can save and quit to benches. That's uh, what uh, speedrunners do, and like anyone can do if if you plan things. But yeah, so this is a, a randomizer thing, and it's really nice. Also, otherwise, sometimes you could get soft lock. I'm pretty sure, especially if you play with uh, room rando or like area randomizer that could be a little bit of a problem so we have here our first real boss our real first boss i guess but it's kind of a pushover so we should be fine Especially when you have spells, because you're not supposed to have spells up to this point. So, just also you can send the the, uh, the rocks at it. So, all the different bosses in the game, I know there's a great ton of bosses. Do you have yeah. to beat every boss to complete the game? Not at all. Um, usually, actually, bosses are not the most uh, important. Ooh, we have a grub. Our friends are oh, I guess it's not a grub. It's a fake grub. It's a mimic. So, sorry, I'll finish my thought in a second, but... Uh, I will be donating two bucks for every mimic we find in the game to the wonderful charity. Hi, Kevin, by the way. Thank you for joining us. 6TNL is one of my good friends. Uh, yes, you don't have to beat the bosses at all. It's You just need three dreamers. Um, for the settings I'm using or what, the, the ending I'm uh, aiming for, you need also three fragments and one, uh, I guess, two abilities. Abyss Shriek, that's the upgraded version of uh, of Howling Wraith, and it's really powerful, especially for the last boss. Um, yeah. Oops, I was looking away. So here is the place you actually learn Vengeful Spirits in. Usually he... The, the snail character that we just saw traps you here until you beat the... The beast at the end of the of the, the place um oops but of course here it's open because sometimes you can't finish this this area and up here there's a thing you can't see it <laughs> but you can see that it says arc and egg uh that's uh it shows me what it's what it is um wow another mimic we didn't even get a real grub yet let's see if this one this other one is a real grub it is yay <laughs> okay we gotta find the guy's grubs he's got to get all his kids back for nice reasons because he's a good parent he's a good parent that's right if you know you know um, for the children, yes. Um, uh, what was I gonna say? Yes. Grubs. 
even if we don't need them we're gonna try to like, like um, free all the ones that we can because it's just the right thing to do uh, in my opinion uh, let's go back to Dirtmouth now we have a, a shop open that's where the money comes in handy What's he has that's way too expensive for a relic Ooh, we have descending desolate dive sorry uh, this is our third sm uh, spell which wow he has a lot of stuff that's pretty amazing love key unlocks an area shade soul is the upgraded version of vengeful spirit Paylors uh, lets you upgrade your nail and grubs are just cute. <laughs> so we save them. We'll also need them because it unlocks some stuff. But Technically we could... Uh, hmm, maybe I'll do that actually. I'll go get the tram pass now. Mm, is that what I want to do? I'll get it now because I'm here. But I'll go to the second area like I would normally. And everyone's happy. What a nice parent. Very nice parent. Um, so, oh, there you can see a uh, Shade Soul. It does more damage and it's bigger as well. Um, so it covers more ground. And I think it also goes fa uh, further, which is nice. So this is um, our, yeah? The upgrades for those things, do they upgrade progressively or can you get like the upgraded version immediately? They are progressive, yes. So, especially in this, since there are dupes, even for the, for the spells, uh, you just get them in order. So, um, for example, that vengeful, that shade soul would have been a vengeful spirit in the shop if I didn't have vengeful spirit already. Everything is progressive. Uh, yeah, so this is green path. I like it. It's lush and beautiful, uh, but you know, a little deadly too. It's green and it's path too. It's very accurate. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> it's it's not like Greenland and Iceland where they kind of messed that up. Oh, right? Or, like, I think that was like a strategy or something to like... I heard that it was a strategy to make um, the enemy think that Greenland was actually lush and Iceland was not or something crazy. Or maybe that's just a conspiracy theory, I don't know. So this was Eric, it helps us... Um, go just in this little area without more help uh, just for this this check it's just the way i route things yeah we call this uh what what that is don't remember the name of the enemy but he's called in the community is called eric because he's useful for some speed runs so they gave him a name Another relic. Oops, it's this way. I think they're called squid or something like that. I don't remember. Yeah. Yep. And you can hear Cornifer from here. Whoops, I just forgot to do something. Get that down. Quick name every bug in the game. Oh my god! There are a lot. Okay, vessel fragments. 
uh, vessel fragments are uh, if you get three you get more soul basically you can store more soul so that's pretty useful uh, that's my boyfriend by the way he's trolling me in chat I mean um, okay I heard uh, your boyfriend also has a run coming up. Yeah, that's pretty um, fortunate. Uh, we can, yeah. yeah, and also hosted by you, so. I know, I get to troll him in that run. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that will show him. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's going to be running tomorrow. Uh, Pokemon Crystal Randomizer. Around this time. So go check that out, but also don't never leave this channel. Just watch the whole time. And donate if you can for the children. Remember, even if you can't donate, spread the word, pass it around, get people interested. The more people we have knowing about this, even if they can't donate, watching the stream still helps. Spreading the word and getting it out there, it helps a lot. Absolutely. weird. It's like I bonked. I guess. You know what's fun with this game? When there's a bug, you can make a joke about it. Because it's a game with bugs. I that mean, wasn't a bug, though. You can just make fun of me. I'm a bug. That's weird. <laughs> Uh, this is Fragile Heart. It gives you two more hearts, but also it breaks if you die, which we don't intend on doing so. And this is Luma Fly Lantern. It helps you go to places that are dark. It will be helpful very soon. Um, yeah, I hope we don't die. Maybe on the last boss? Hopefully not, but I don't... Uh, it could happen. I had a very short seed when I um, practiced uh, the day before yesterday. I think it was my shortest seed with the, these settings. But if we do have a short seed, I have things planned, so... Don't sleep on the me watch. Sorry. Let me guess. Are they bugs? Are they bugs? The what? What I'm, we have in store? Whatever you planned. Yeah. Yeah. Bugs are in, are involved. That is acceptable. Then. <laughs> uh, yeah, we unlocked a few. I didn't say it earlier. We unlocked a few stags. You unlock stags as well. Uh, the ability to go some places. Sometimes you can reach those places uh, another way, but sometimes that's your only progression. So. And uh, this randomizer has so many different settings available. It's it's really, I love it because I can keep playing with the randomizer and always have something different. Uh, it's really nice. Um, maybe if I had if the sh the seed is really short, I can show up show. Um, I regenerated a seed with everything randomized. Uh, with a room random, so every room leads to another random room. And with a grass randomizer, which means every tuft of grass uh, has an item. Which is often the grass, but, you know, it could be something else. 
How do you make a randomizer without the brass sound interesting like that? <laughs> right? That's, that's, I'm impressed with that. And also, like, they they added a grass shop, so you get... So there are 3,000 grass around that uh, in the game. So they made a grass shop so you can spend your grass to get items. Sometimes you buy grass with grass, but, you know... That's that's that nice. Sounds like a metaphor for something. <laughs> but yeah, that I've never done it, the grass rando. Uh but so if this seed goes fast, I I'm I'm excited for what we we will see. I hope it doesn't break, because I know some things are not comp compatible with other things sometimes. Or at like uh, at least maybe the tracker or something. So uh, we'll see, but we'll we'll have stuff to do for sure. If it breaks, would you say that it's a bug? <laughs> you could say that. You could. I'm sorry, I was ready for this run for a while. I'm I'm excited to make every bad bug. Joke yes, it, that's where what we're here for, really. I agree. Nope. Here first, otherwise I will forget this check. So we already have our three spells, and two of them are already um, upgraded. So that's pretty crazy, but we have zero movement so far. What kind of movement can you get in the game? So there are four movements... Uh... Ah! What is it? Sorry. <laughs> Uh, there are four <gasps> movements. There is the dash, called Mothwing Cloak. There's the wall climb, which is Mantis Claw. There is um, Monarch Wings, which help you do a double jump. And Crystal Dash, which is... Or Crystal Heart, which is uh, we call C Dash. Uh, that's... How would you say that? It, like, launches you? <laughs> Fragile Greed is uh, like Fragile Heart. You get more money, but from killing enemies. But it breaks when you die. But yeah, so there's four movement. Uh, I think the one we want the most is uh, Monarch Wings. But Shopkey Brisky, that allows us to get more items at Sly's shop. Oh, let's put Fragile Heart on, and maybe why why not Fragile Greed? Uh, what do we have? A grub! Let's free the grub! Uh, yeah, so when we come back to Dirtmouth, we can buy more stuff at Sly's shop. And I saw when you were equipping the little things, you yes. that you had the little spots there. Can, yes. can you explain that mechanic? Yes. So we start with three notches. They're charm notches. Um, you can get more uh, as <laughs> items. Uh, this is Hornet, by the way. We love her. Um, and... And uh, every every charm has a cost, a, ch a, a notch cost, and um, it is randomized how much every what am I doing? What every charm costs, notch wise. So it, it it's I think it's pretty cheap to have fragile heart at that pro at one. It's always nice. They can be free too, which is really, really nice. Um, and that's fun also because sometimes that changes your build a little bit, like the way you will, you would play. Of course, there are char charms that are stronger than others, but um, his Defender's Crest, it gives you a poop smell, which hurts enemies. It's true. I'm not making that up. Um, but yeah, so yeah, so, some are stronger than others, obviously, 
but sometimes they're really expensive, so you have to figure it out, you know? And sometimes one charm that you don't usually use is free, so you're like, yeah, sure. But some charms you don't even want to use when they're free. Uh, because, well, let's go back to dirt mode. Because, I, for example, I don't like damaging charms. I don't use them very often because there are some areas where it can oh. hinder you more you. than it helps you. Uh, great Slash, we have that already. Well, nothing much then. Okay. And now let's... We have the Tram Pass, so... Oh, and also we have the Luma Fly Lantern, so let's do that, actually. And I'm not forgetting that Lorien is here. I'm telling that to myself, so I don't forget. I get the whole telling it to yourself thing. I do that every time when I play Super Metroid Randos. <laughs> also, the only thing I know about Hornet, aside from how cool her character is, is two words. Get good. Get good! Yes, we'll see that, actually. Hopefully. Another Mimic! That's crazy! I've never seen that many Mimics in such a short time. But that's good for the children. Rest in peace your wallet, though. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> that's true, but it's for the children. What's the most Mimics you've ever seen? I think there were eight one time, which is... It, you can also, like, uh, change it in, in the settings. Uh, but even when I put five, but sometimes you just get more. I don't really know how it works. It could be a bug, but yeah. So we'll see how many you find. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad it was obvious enough. I emphasized it. Okay, another payload to upgrade our nail. One setting I like a lot is every time you kill an enemy for the first time, you get a check. I don't know, yeah, I, I really like that, that, that setting. But, uh, oh, we don't need to go up there. You can also randomize benches, like, to different places. You can... Randomize. You can randomize focus, which is the ability to heal. I've never done that because I'm not good enough at the game. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, you can also randomize uh, like your attacks. Like you start only with the pogo, what we call the pogo, the downwards attack, and you have to find left sla left uh, left. Uh, what do they call it? Left slash, I think. And right slash and up slash so yeah the, these area this area would be dark i couldn't like traverse it but we have a little lantern here that helps us uh we can't get across here but that's okay because we just want to go down here anyways <laughs> So the Dreamer's location are, n are not on the map, but it's the vanilla text, obviously. This is where you find out about the Dreamers and that you have to... I don't know if... they're already dead, so it's more like release their spirit, I think. I and mean, they're called Dreamers, so I assume they're dreaming, question mark? Um, yeah... <laughs> I don't know, they're lying down and I think... Oh, I fell! I never fell, usually. Um, uh, I guess, but I'm not sure. I feel like it's the spirit. But I'm not like super... 
good on lore. I know some stuff, but I don't know exactly everything. Why is everything the way it is? Grubby Grub. I love this character. How much? We have zero... No, I have 51 essence. Which gives us just money. In the randomizer, it's... Oh, Monarch Wings at 135. That's great. And Mendes Claw at 67, which is pretty close. And Hera at 67. She has everything. Okay. So we need 67 and 135. Good to know. So what is Hera? Because I know the others. I don't know what that is. Okay. Hera is... Um, is one of the dreamers. So Hera, Lurian, and Monomon are the three dreamers that you have to free. Oh, okay. And we already saw the Lurian on the ground at that one tram station. Yes. Exactly. Now we can uh, still find them in other locations, though, because you have put two of everything, right? Yes. So there are two dupe dreamers. So uh, there are five in total, technically. But in vanilla, it's three. And uh, in vanilla, it's, um, it allows you to uh, beat the final boss. But we're going for another ending this time. Uh, unless we really are late, <laughs> like running out of time, uh, I will try to go for the, the different ending is much more interesting in my opinion especially as a boss fight Woo, 95 okay we can get monarch wings and i don't know why i did that and one other thing which i don't remember hera actually i think i'm bad at remembering His enemy do double damage. So it's... It hurts. Sounds like somebody in there needs a throw lozenge. For what? Sorry. Sounds like somebody in that tunnel needs a throat lozenge to help with their, uh... Yeah. Oh! <laughs> That's a... Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, I think we're gonna take this elevator next, but there's a check this t this way. Oh no, wait, I have to go back to the- to get monarch rings. Wait, this jump is a little annoying. Please go away, sir. Okay. Oh yeah, when claw. Uh, I don't remember which one because my memory is bad. I just remember numbers. Oops. Um, so I'll, I'll I'll look. Might be claw, claw and Hera. I want to say. Mantis claw unlocks. A lot. Like, let's look at. So you can see that the bright and big uh, items are the ones that are in logic right now, and the dark ones are the ones that are not. And once we get Mantis Claw, uh, now we have much more we can do everywhere. Um, it's it's a very good item to get. Um, this is the kind of game where a little opens up a lot, um, which you know depends on how you see it. I like having the option to go where I want to and not being like, 
funneled through a, a, a specific path, but there, there are ways to make it so that it's a little more, a little less open, basically. So this was a mental slide helps us. Uh, whoops, climb walls. And yeah. So, of all the areas in the game, Oops. do you have like a personal favorite and a least favorite? Enemy? Uh, yeah, there's this enemy that spits three balls of, uh, of acid, or like, of whatever it is supposed to be, I don't know. <laughs> uh, that I don't like at all, that's in the um, one area that I don't remember the name of. Uh, and my favorite enemy, though, I've never thought about this. Hmm. I mean, there are some pretty cute enemies. Um, can you can you consider Hornet an enemy? She's not an enemy, though. You fight her, but I, I don't think you can call her an enemy. She tells you to get good, which is kind of toxic. It kind of <laughs> makes her an enemy, so I think we can make an argument there. Yeah, there, there we go. She's, she's the toxic streamer. We'll go with that. <laughs> there you go. I guess it's Hornet then. We're getting a lot of grubs. A lot of grubs. I don't remember what said the grubs. Just remember I need 17. That's what I said. Like, I remember the numbers. I don't remember what it was. So I'm taking a lot of damage, but that's fine. Because we get a bench and a station right here. Fifteen geo for three hundred geo. What a deal! Oops. Well, that's not how you're supposed to do that. Spore shroom. This is <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I guess. Uh, spore shroom is important. It's it's too expensive right now for me. <laughs> To equip it really and I'm not in an area where I will need it but it it's it unlocks some checks let's see let's get this pay lower again well that's good because we're going to I'll just get this check real quick but we're going to the nailsmith tune so that will help us fight enemies easier and faster. So, when yes. it comes to the rando itself, mm -hmm. do you have any, like, PB times that you have for just your normal settings, or do you have, like, what you consider your average time to be? Uh, for these settings, uh, the average time would be around... Uh, oh, that's just money. Uh, would be around 3.30, 3 hours and 30 minutes. Uh, but I, I don't time myself usually. I just play the game. <laughs> um, but you can see your time at the end of the game. Also, I play different um, settings all the time. So I don't have... Uh, except for this, which I've been practicing, obviously. Um, 
I don't... Don't have really a time. I never run a timer. I'm not a speedrunner, I'm just... You know, I just like the game. Yeah, I respect that. It's the same as me. I play Super Metroid Randos and I just check my time at the end and have ideas, but... Yeah. I don't like run a timer or do it competitively, it's just fun. Yeah, exactly. So is there any trick in the game that you took way too long to learn or a trick that made it real easy to learn? Like, the whole pogoing thing to me is something I'm terrible at, but like, did you pick it up real quick or is there another trick in the game you learned real fast or something that's super, super hard? Um, uh, the, yeah, the pogo it, it gets a little getting used to, but, um, I don't know a lot of tricks. I know some. Well, they they uh, require pogos a lot. Sometimes you can uh, reach areas you wouldn't be able to with background items, like that. Well, you'll see one in a second. Also, I don't. Although I don't need uh, need to because I have the mantis claw, but. Um, there are also ways to reach areas uh, with um, with with buffering with spells or like that helps you uh, yeah reach some areas you wouldn't be able to just because it makes you stall in the air um, so I've I've done that before, but I haven't practiced it the way that that would make me like, consistent at it. Gotcha. Uh, am I? Yes, I'm going where I want to go. Okay, just getting this bench. It's always nice to get benches to be able to warp to them. Because of course you can't warp to them if you haven't been there yet. That would be too easy. Although when you play bench rando, you can make it so that um, so you can randomize where the benches are, but you can also randomize uh, an item at every bench. And so if you get the bench item, you can rest and warp to it, but otherwise you can't. So that's another... Oh, green child. That's useful as well. These are... With Spore Shroom, these are two of the charms that unlock other, other checks. Oopsie. Mm, I'll go up here just for this check. Why did I do that? I don't know. It's fine. Okay. Mm. Just say it was a bug, we'll believe you. <laughs> it was. It's also accurate too. You True. But this is Lem, he he buys all of our relics. If you talk to him from the right in the rando, you just sell them all in one go, which is really handy because otherwise you have to do it one by one. So here, for example, you can't, if I didn't have claw, you, I couldn't reach this item, but there are like background objects that you can pogo on. Oops, if I do it right, which I didn't, but <laughs> usually I do. Um, and that helps you reach just that little place. Uh, I got Unbreakable Heart, it's uh, the progressive... Uh, uh, well, it's it's fragile hard, but it doesn't break when you die, basically. So, and it's progressive. So that's pretty nice. I don't intend on dying again, at least not until the last boss. But, uh, you never know. Sometimes the randomizer makes you do stuff that are a little difficult. But... I think this time it's it's fine. I have claws, so that means I can go to a lot of different places. And I'm about to upgrade my nail. So... 
should make things easier. Same thing with uh, Ronnie Joe here, the blacksmith. We called him Ronnie Joe for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, you talk him to him from the right and poof, you upgrade, he upgrades your nail to the max instead of going through the animation and stuff. Okay, so we did that. Let's... Wait, I forgot an item here. Now, does he always upgrade your nail in this, or do you have to find the nail upgrades? So he upgrades it when you um, find the ore, but there is also um, uh, a setting where you get the nail upgrade immediately. Like it's it's a it's an item you just get nail upgrade, and um, and instead of giving you nail upgrades, he gives you other items. So Paylor then is needed for uh, checks, basically. That's interesting. Yeah, I like that. I like that setting. Um, it's also a little cheaper than actually getting uh, and actually upgrading the nail. Uh, I guess we're back here. We could have done this a little more efficiently, but you know, that's fine. cloak can now dash which is awesome uh, where am I going well that's fine actually I didn't need to do that but that's okay shouldn't take too long let's get the money although we don't need money for much anymore but Sometimes you're lucky and your fireball hits twice. And that's pretty nice. We have our friend Cornifer, but first we open the bench. What do you have? Nothing of interest. Um, we'll just keep going this way. Wait, I didn't sit at the bench, did I? Yeah, I did. No, I didn't. Did I? Doesn't matter. Now I did. Uh, okay, so we're going to the Soul Sanctum. So one of the uses for the the uh, Great Slash is, for example, this lev lever you can't reach. You can reach through the door thanks to thanks to it. So that's pretty nice. Um, there we go. Oops. I don't like this enemy. Not my least favorite, but I don't like it. Hi Samsara! Uh, I'm I'm uh you can you can watch on uh, randomizer for good if you want to watch there's a charity marathon going i recommend watching there it's going on all weekend and um it's for a good cause for the children of nepal thank you for joining Elegant key, well, that's extremely funny because the elegant key makes you fight this uh, specific <laughs> enemy uh, a second time. That's a, game for you, that point. that's a very interesting placement for sure. Yeah. 
And so here, I, I love having this here because otherwise you have to go around and there are three of these that I don't like at all that follow you around and I don't want to fight them. I guess I'll heal. And this is the third boss of the game. I mean, this game is very open, so there's no... There is a first and second area, but after that, there are many ways to go through the game. So, that's one thing I love about it, which there are a lot of reasons I love this game. Let's heal just cause. Fragments, so we need three of those to fight the last to get the the the, the real the true ending um, of the game. So that's that's one go mode, uh, go mode item. That's not a real one. We get another mimic, which is awesome. For the children. I will donate for every mimic. I think it was. It tells you at the end. It will tell me at the end, so I'm not too worried about knowing exactly at every given time, but I think it was fourth. Um, so, you can see our Poor enemy, poor boss. But there's a way. Oh no, I'm done here. What am I doing? Okay, let's do the elegant key check while we're here. Once you get uh, the dream nail, which is really important in this, uh, you can refight the. The big the, the the bosses and it's much harder but it's a good challenge I guess I shouldn't over so much because of those I don't know if you can hear that, but my cat thinks she's a bird. Oh my god, that is <laughs> Okay. That's kinda cute. Yeah. My my cat is definitely assuming she's a bird, but for how big she is, I don't think it works well. <laughs> 17 pounds of cat. <laughs> Too much bone density. Hi, AG! She can be a bird if she is. That's true. I will never tell her what she can or cannot be. Why did I warp there? I was right there. That's fine. Um, uh, boo -boo -boo. Yeah, let's just do this real quick. Yeah, actually, I think. Um, Cats do that to like lure birds, but
but it's really... I don't think they're very good at it. <laughs> okay, let's check what this would be. I didn't a dream nail to get this check, but I know it's gonna be a grub. Now I know that I don't really have to come back here to get it. Even though I said I would try to get every grub, sometimes they're just out of the way. Ow. Nothing. Thanks, game. Thanks for nothing! Haha. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, uh, yes. This way. Oopsie! Don't, don't. Okay. That's alright. Have another stack station here. Nope. There's another shop also that is available to us now. That's back at crossroads. Oops. The elevator. There's also a setting that you can add that makes it so you need a pass for the elevators. There are two of them. Uh, there's another setting for swim, which makes it so that you can't swim until you get swim. Uh, mask shard. We get a new, a new heart piece, basically. New heart container. Uh, there are so many settings. There are lever, lever rando, where you find uh, randomly um, like levers, but the lever will also give you check. Um, so as you can see, the crossroads are infected now. But it's okay. don't have much we can we have to do here this is one of the enemies that change in this area now um, these also and this explodes on contact and do two damage so. yeah you can see it now okay so this is another shop this is <laughs> Salubra, <laughs> aka Sally. Um, she usually sells charms and charm notches. And some of the, as you can see, some of the items are uh, locked behind the number of charm you can you you have. So so I can't get this tag, for example, because I don't have twelve charms. Oh, this is not a grab. That's our fifth one already. So, I'm just getting the money. I'll get this shot, this mask. Hmm. How many charms do I have? I, do I even need anything from her? Yeah. No, I don't need that. Okay, I don't need to buy charms just to unlock that. So that's nice. Okay, okay, let's go back to Dirtmouth. There are some stuff. Well, yeah, some stuff I can do there because I got Green Child, which is one of the way to unlock a DLC thing, um, which is this. These stents. And we have Divine here. She takes our fragile. Um... Ooh, Dream Nail. We need that. Let's get it. She takes it and does something with it and gives us something in return. And what does Dream Nail do? 
There we go. Um, Dream Nail. How to explain that? So it how it allows you to fight some enemies, some bosses, the dream bosses, and in vanilla it it uh, allows you to. What am I doing? To get the dreamers, so you can't have the you can't uh, get the dreamers without the dream nail, which makes sense. Um, and um, I think that's about it. it. It helps you collect essences. It helps you. You see the little trees I've seen around. Well, let me show you another one. It, uh, it makes you able to get some some checks here and there um, and there was another thing I was thinking of but oopsie so we have these little trees here if I hit it with the dream nail it will release these balls I guess and you have to collect all of them and once you do um, you get the item in question got tuner it looked like it was important but it's not at least in the randomizer at least in this randomizer I guess um, okay I forgot this thankfully oops our nail is pretty strong now so these enemies are not that that threatening but let's you know what let's get Lorian now that the crossroads are infected anyways can get him um okay I guess, yeah, I'll go this way after. It's the thing with this game that's very open. It's, uh... That you can kind of go anywhere. So... Usually, especially when there's one item left before go mode, you're kind of looking for a, a needle in a haystack. So right now, it doesn't look like you got your crystal dash, I don't think, correct? No, not yet. And then crystal dash double. is not that useful. Oops, shouldn't have done that. Uh, let me see, uh, actually, I know where... Yeah, no, I still need a, a little bit of incense before I can get uh, monarch wings. But I have, yeah, I have two out of four movement. And other things that can, uh, like, lock some areas are keys and uh, sometimes spells, like this, can only be opened with the, the, the dive. Um, another pale ore. And, um... What else can make you... The dream now sometimes like unlocks checks as well, but it's mostly movement and keys and descending, descending dark. So this is another shopkeeper. Let's see what he has. I would like a charm notch, but you know, that's okay. I like quick slash, but it's a little expensive. I still have only three. Uh, I will actually do something right now that is called, called over charm. So it allows you to equip more charms or more expensive charms that you would normally. But you're overcharmed, which means that you take double damage now. 
So it's a little risky, but I need the, the spore shroom uh, for a check here. It's right here, so... And it's only Geo. Uh, is there... There's another one on the other side. Okay, let's risk it. I don't very often do this, but... We have spells, we have a lot of damage, it should be fine. Right? Right. Are very scary right now because when they explode they do normally two damage but now they do four <laughs> so it should be fine but... 26 geo we don't so these are the checks that i need the spore shrooms for well, i didn't really need to do this but that's okay uh i guess i keep going I'm a little worried because I'm overcharmed, but we're, we're, we'll be fine. We'll be just fine. Okay. Ah! Let's heal. I can change my my charms here, I guess. Uh, Soul Catcher is pretty nice. I haven't been talking about the charms actually, as I got them. Uh, Wayward Compass makes you you actually know where you are on the map, which is not something that's given to you <laughs> normally. Um, uh, soul Catcher makes you get more soul while you when you hit enemies and Steel Body. Steady body, sorry. Makes you less knock... Uh, get less knock back. What was I wearing before? Wait. Eh? Oh, greed, I guess. Might as well. Okay. So we still need quite a bunch. Um, still need one dreamer and uh, one, two white fragments, basically. And that's it, I think. So we need four items, but they're all duped. So that means that, whoops, it's more likely for me to get them. I need money for anything else. So I won't be going out of my way for it. Another relic. I still uh, 
get geo rocks even though I don't need them because it just clears them from the tracker Ooh. and that's pretty nice um, same with the soul totems which give you more soul um, so you don't think you forgot something oh no even though like usually I know sometimes I do leave something uh, because it's it's out of the way or something and I, I don't I remember that I don't need that uh, check but you know it's nice to have a clear tracker I like how when the bridge spawns there it only has one side that gets a little railing you're it's right <laughs> it's like you're gonna fall off this side, that side. <laughs> you're right it's not very safe and it's the way to the city too I wonder if it's a bug if that happens <laughs> Um, I'm assuming a lot of people used to take that that um, that bridge too when this place was not uh, the way it is now. Okay. So these enemies, usually when you hit an enemy, it, uh, it, like, uh, how would you say that? Charm notch, my first charm notch. Um, some orange uh, comes out of it, but these enemies, it's not orange, it's white, which means that they are not infected, actually like the rest of the bugs that we've been fighting and they're they're actually very present-minded they just are very um territorial and don't like are very protective of their 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 city and their environment which is understandable with, with everything else being um, the way it is and um, how would you say that mm. aggro <laughs> nah, I had another word in mind but it's fine <laughs> So this is Breda, we're saving her, and we'll see her back at Dirtmouth later. She has a check for us. Oh, I didn't get these items, I'm silly. Well, it's just money. hear a grub somewhere maybe it's a fake one never know I feel for the dad he needs more grubs yeah right he does not have any ulterior motive at all not at all Oops. Yeah. So this is where you get the mantis claw, because these are the mantises. Which makes sense, right? Crystal heart! So this is our C dash. Allows you to... Uh... Oh! No, it's a real one. I'm almost sad, you know. 
um, just how would you say that? It allows you to like go across large gaps, I guess. It's it's like the equivalent of like a shiny spark from Super Metroid. Sure, I know about Metroid. Uh, no, I, I don't actually, but I'm sure that's true. I've played a, a tiny bit of Super Metroid when it came out on Virtual Console on 3DS. This is one of my favorite boss fights. Uh, but I don't know much about Metroid at all. I remember seeing this in the first time, and this is, I think, one of the bosses that made me realize I would be terrible at this game. <laughs> it took me a while the first time, but I really like the rhythm of it and it's like a it's kind of like a dance and the music is really nice but usually you do that fight well you can do it a little later it's 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 completely optional actually ah i missed it anyways um but now we're friends sorry i forgot to bow to them as well um, and now everyone likes us here. Just, just beat up the bugs and you're your friends now. Yeah, exactly. They respect us. We killed a bunch of them before, but apparently that's okay. friends with them, can you still beat about them or no? No. Oh, we have all of our uh, upgraded uh, spells, which is nice. It's not needed, but it's nice. Uh, where do we go? We could, you know what, let's go to Deep Nest. It's just, it just makes sense. So this is the creepy area. This is where the game becomes a horror game, kind of. Well, twi uh, spell twister is really nice. Uh, I mean, it's it's nice. It's um, makes your spells uh, consume less soul. That's pretty cool. So that's the dupe of the crystal heart. Cyclone Slash. So now we... Wait, do we? We have all three? No, we only have two of the nail arts. When we, I get the last one, we get a check. Oopsie. about the little noises I just I just do little noises uh, and this place is very very noisy these enemies the the ones that crawl up and down and sideways they are very loud wait forgot an item what am I doing secret area here and it was just money oh 
we? Yes. Okay. So yeah, the first time you come in this place, it's very intimidating. It's dark. It's scary. There are these enemies that come out. Oops, that come out of the floor, and that are difficult to kill if you don't have any upgrade. So usually the first time you arrive here, you then go back. <laughs> Depending on when you find it, because, like I said, this game is very open uh, and has very a lot of different ways you can. Whoops! 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 Okay. A lot of different ways you can go through it, uh, which is very cool in my opinion. Because I've played some games where, like, the minute you get something like a double jump, the entire game opens. Yeah. But this game has four different unique movement things, and all of them unlock unique things. Yes, absolutely. Uh, some unlock more than others, like the crystal dash doesn't unlock much, for example, but it still does. So that's pretty nice. Okay, these I don't need. Oops. I'll just do this. Oops. Nah, I can't reach. That's okay, I'll just know that this is here. And... And um, not only this game is very big and you can go through it different ways, it's also pretty convoluted. And again, like when you start, when you play it vanilla for the first time, you don't get a map uh, right away. You don't have the whole map and it's very, it can be very daunting. And, but that's the whole, that's part of the fun too. Uh, to not know where you are and have to figure that out. Um, I like it. Uh, hopefully this Porsche room thing is nothing up there, we'll see. Outdoor shell. It uh, protects you a little bit when you're focusing to heal, but it can break. Nothing? Charm Notch. Would have been nice, but I'm not going back for it. Okay, we're going back down to Deep Nest. We're not nearly done with this area at all. It's a very big area. Oops. How many total checks are there? Oh, that's a good question. There are a lot of checks. Um, I would say... It could be... I'm, I'm, I'm scared of saying something wrong, but... Uh, it could be in the... in the 500... Uh, I mean, it depends on the, on the, the 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 settings, obviously, but uh, it's it's. I think it's in the ballpark of 500, if not more. Because I know when I play Archipelago, which I know that's going to be another Archipelago run in 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 this event, um, which is randomizer, but uh, basically, well. This room is very loud, so I'm sorry about that. But basically, in Archipelago, you play a randomizer, your friends are playing a randomizer, and all the items are mixed in everyone's... Oh, I can get man uh, mon monarch rings now. Um, all the items are everywhere in both worlds, or all the worlds, depending on how many people are playing. And it's really fun. Uh, 
but it tells you how many checks there are, and I think it's in the goal arc of 600 or something. That might be wrong. Oh, low glitch, low bug, we could say. Visual bug. Okay, so we have to go back to the seer soon. Um, actually, let's do it now, because I'll, I'll... Wait, let me check something. I did sit at the bench, yes, yes. Okay. Let's go back to the seer and get our wings. What was that? 16, 15, Geo. Nothing we care about. Yay! This is really nice. I like having monarch wings. It's not necessarily needed. Wait. Oh, I don't have 200. Okay. Um, it's not necessarily needed. You either need monarch wings or um, or mantis claw to do the final final boss fight. Uh, but it's always nice to have. Okay. So here we have Probably the most annoying check in the game in vanilla. Well, it's not a check in vanilla, but it's a it's a quest, I guess. But this person wants you to Dreamgate. Oh, I don't need it. Um, it's it's useful, but hi, Legend Donnelly. Thank you for the good luck and good morning. So, <clears throat> in in vanilla. You have to go from here, which is here, all the way here without using stags or any like warping or anything and without taking damage and deliver a fragile flower to a grave. So it's one of the most challenging. I mean, this game is very challenging, so. Not more than one of the most challenging things, but it's definitely like a difficult task. I have two. Okay, one more pillar, and I can upgrade to the max, the maximum of my ability. <clears throat> okay, where are we going now? Let's go to Crystal Peak. That seems reasonable. We now have all our spells upgraded and all of our movement. We just need um, we just need one dreamer and two fragments. So only three items to go mode. Oh no, that's not true. We also need an upgrade to our dash. So we need four items still. Um, which. We'll see. Hopefully, we can do um, in a timely fashion. But There's something here. No, not here, but maybe in this area. Okay. 
this is my favorite room in the game because it's pretty and peaceful. It's very nice. It looks absolutely terrifying. Because <laughs> it's spiky? Because there's lasers everywhere. Oh, I mean the, the little room at the end of the lasers. Oh. Yeah. No, the lasers are scary. For sure. This this area has a lot of lasers. Okay. Our friend Cornifer is here. Does not have anything for us, and this is nothing either. Okay, that's real quick. But... Mm, you know what? I'm gonna get the bench first. this first. No. Also, I didn't say, but descending dark and, and uh, is, is very powerful, but also it gives you so many iframes. It's extremely nice for that, for especially for boss fights. So there's a little copy, copy pasta for the sending dark uh, in the community. I couldn't tell it to you right now. It exists, I swear. I don't know why I'm doing this. It's okay. There we go. Nope. Nothing of value. I also have zero keys, which is really interesting, because there are six in the game. I only need three. Um, but I got, I got no keys. Um, sorry? I know there was one at one of the shops, wasn't there? There was? Thank you. I... Oh, wait, you're right. Oh, yeah, the grub, the, the grub uh, powder had a simple key. You're right. You're right. But um, since they're all the same, um, the things that are unlocked by the simple key are not in logic until you have all four of them. There are four in vanilla. We only need three in this, these settings. Um, so, yeah. So maybe it won't be in logic at all. Maybe I don't I don't do simple key stuff. But it could be there too, I don't know. You never know. Okay, let's warp back. Twenty-one drew grabs, yeah. I could get a key right now. I don't know why someone rang my doorbell. Uh, give me a second. Yeah, sorry. Okay, uh, did I forget anything? I hope not. I got startled by my ring doorbell ringing. Okay, let's go this way. Sorry, we're, we're good. Everything's good. 
sometimes people are well you know you know how it is some people are coming door to door to sell you stuff or s i think that's the case right now so we're not gonna answer pay lower okay that's well there are more but that's the last piece of pale ore that we need to make our weapon the most uh, strongest weapon it can be. It's not actually true. There's a way to get this to our weapon stronger. We haven't found that yet, and it's completely optional. Quite a few checks here. Hopefully, we get something we need. Yeah, we did. Awesome. Good morning. Um. Hopefully the link works. Um, wait, I forgot something. Shade cloak, we need that too. That's great. We are two items from go mode. That's that shade cloak allows us to go through enemies. without taking damage and through attacks oh I'm sure we can fix that. And we have money up here. Okay. Well, it's time for my cat to get food now. Okay. What is that time of day for cats? <laughs> Oopsie. Another grub. Okay. Maybe I heal once. Weaver's song. It summons little little helpers that damage enemies for you. Pretty nice. I never use it though, because there are enemy, there are areas where it aggroes enemy that wouldn't otherwise be aggroed. So, another shade cloak. There were two shade cloaks in this, in this place. That's crazy. I should heal.
There's a lift dive. There was a lot of stuff here. A lot of stuff that I already had, but... Another pale ore. Okay. Um, okay. This area. Yeah. This is where you get the crystal heart, where you get the dash, the the sea dash as we call it. Making your first dash across that giant hit like that is really neat. It's very satisfying, yes. Threatmuth stag, we don't really need that, but there's a check there, so. this game is really satisfying once you get all the... This enemy always gets me. Um, once you get all the... the movement. I should be careful. I'm pretty low on, on health. Should be fine, but... Well, I say that. I'm gonna try to be careful. <gasps> no! Okay. Whew. And then we're, we're fine. I hope I don't die here. I can always warp to the bench, so it's fine. But... We're good. Everything's fine. Okay, one last check in this area, if I didn't forget anything. And it's a grub. Okay. Oh, I did forget to check. That's okay, it's easy to reach. I often f forget that check, actually. Oh, it's just Geo. Okay, where are we going next? Um, oopsie. Oh yeah, there's this that I haven't done. Let's do this. It's a few checks, so... I'll check what I have as as in terms of stats. Cause I I usually don't remember what I what I get. I don't take note of them well enough. Um. That's unfortunate. I need some soul. Fortunately, there are enemies here. Also, I can just use my nail. My, the dream nail gives you, allows you to get some, some soul. More soul than you would with a regular nail. It's not a tiltify problem. Oops. That's not what I intended at all. Let's see. Be something. Nope. 
Yeah. Do you think this would be your favorite area of the game then, just based on the crystals and all that, or do you have another favorite area? Oh, that's a good question. One area that I really like uh, aesthetically is uh, the Queen's Garden, but it's also a scary place. <laughs> Especially when you're just starting, it's a place you tend to avoid, and it's pretty late game. You don't like you don't have to do it for a long time, um, so I would say, I see, I would say Queen's Garden. But look at all these things we can do still. Um, let's go to a stag station and see where we can go from there. How are we doing on time? Oh, yeah, we've got about 50 minutes. If you can pull that off, that'll get us back on track, because I know we started about an hour late, so you're way yes. ahead of your own estimate. Oh, yeah, it's, it's only two here. Okay. Uh, well, to Queen's Garden. Let's go to Queen's Garden. Um, oops. Yeah, if we can uh, catch up on the, on the schedule, that would be great, but... If not, I'm sure it's okay. I don't... This is a boss fight that's that I like a lot, but... Um, I mean, I don't like the, the... I like the character more than anything. Uh, these boss fights that you need the nail for... The Dream Warriors... Uh, are usually not enemies. They're more like... Um, I don't know. They're more like trapped souls that you that you uh, free. They like linger here, and you they don't know they're dead, and you free them from limbo, I guess. Queen Station. We don't need that really. Hi, Bash Attack! Thank you, thank you! Hope you're doing well. Okay. Uh, let's go back here. This is the Queen's Garden. It's really nice. I like it a lot, but it's a scary place again. We're not scared though, right? <laughs> not at all. Oops. Charm Nodge, that's useful actually, but not necessary. Um, yeah, I'll go down here first. There's more checks this way. Also, want to say thank you very much to uh, Bash Attack for the $25 donation. No comment type to it, but we really appreciate it as well. Thank you so much, Bash Attack. Or Bashy, as I call him. He's a friend of Thirst Gen and I. Super Gen, who was uh, had a run yesterday. <laughs> Don't need Hollowness Seal. We need Void Heart and we need um, Monomon or like a generic dupe dreamer. Oh, forgot about that.
Let's see what this is. Royal Waterway map. We don't need that at all. Another grub. Free 24. That's pretty good. Okay, there's nothing for us this way. There are 46 in the game, in the vanilla. Which is a lot. But in this, it fluctuates. Usually around 40. Especially since you... You have mimics in the in the pool. Oopsie. So I've noticed too that as you've been going through the game for the last couple hours, I've noticed that you have not necessarily a route in mind, but you already know where your next locations are going. Are you checking it by like a density or are you checking it by like breadcrumbs from what you just unlocked leading you somewhere? Uh, mostly by density, uh, as long as it's in logic. I mean, sometimes I go out of logic when I have a lot of keys, but I don't have them all. But that's about it. Um, I just go by feel, to be honest. <laughs> what I feel like doing at the moment. You know what? I completely forgot that I didn't do deepness all the way through. And this... Oh yeah, I, I left this here. So let's do that now. Because that's a lot of checks. As you can see, these uh, these hot spring, uh, if you stay in them for a little while, they heal your soul as well as your hearts. Okay. Glowing Womb. Um, it's another damaging kind of uh, charm. It... Um, it spawns little little bugs and uh, that attack enemy so enemies might i remind you by the way that uh if you want to see uh, another skin than the normal night skin um you can donate towards that uh, we have hornet we have Lil Grim, um, we have uh, Link from Zelda, and we have Solaire from Dark Souls. So if that's interesting to you, any any one of those that has the most donation will be the one we're currently using. So, so this is Nosk. It's a very annoying boss. But you can stay in the little corners here, and it kind of helps. And you use Abyss Shriek or Howling Wraith to attack it while it's going through. But it has a lot of health. That's what's annoying about it. I ran out of soul, so I have to hit him to get more for my spells and healing if I need that. So it takes a while. Depending on your level of damage, I guess, your damage output. There's a charm that's really useful 
it's called shaman stone that makes your spells do way more damage and it's really useful in this this boss fight there he is okay Well, it was worth it, you know? Grabs are worth the time. You know what else is worth? A $10 donation from Bonge Games. No comment, but we really appreciate it. Thank you, Benj. It's Benj Games. It's a friend of, of mine. I appreciate you. All for a really good cause. Helping the children of Nepal get better education. Now that you say it, maybe, maybe it is Bond's game. He's British. It's like dance and dance. Oh. I don't know. I think it's French though. Another grab and a mask shard. Way. Mm. Then just pretty precious. Let's see. Not in that way, I guess, but. I heard something down there. It sounded like a really angry old guy. I, I wonder what that was all about. Yeah, right? I think we saw him before. You know what? I don't even know if we're gonna save him. <laughs> we'll see. Should I save him, chat? Should I save the grumpy old man? He's gonna complain about us saving him, just saying. Let's get the item and then we'll decide. It's just Geo. Okay, let's be... let's be... gracious. I'm not even gonna talk to you. Can you just leave him hanging there? It's kind of entertaining. <laughs> True. There's an achievement. I've never gotten this achievement because I, I really haven't played with a lot that much. But um, for letting him in die, and I don't know what that does, and I kind of want to know. Also, another $10 donation from an anonymous donor. We appreciate Ooh. it. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. All these generous people. Okay, let's do this. That's another way to warp. You get the list of all the warps up here and you can select which one you want to go to. Uh, I'm going the wrong way. Let's see if I forget anything though. No. Okay, let's not get caught by the spikes. I did not get caught by the spikes. This time we did. <laughs> I 
This is another dream warrior that I'm not gonna fight. In the interest of time, I did not randomize their rewards. was just was just geo oops thankfully you have a lot of hearts so it's okay if I get hit. I'm kind of being reckless, but... You know... Sometimes... Gotta be reckless. <laughs> These are not randomized, so I'm not gonna... I'm just gonna ignore them. I'm gonna get more soul here. By hitting its butt with my nail. A dream now. Don't even feel it. It's one of the most annoying uh, enemies to fight. Uh, they're really tanky. They do two damage, and they're always in like very um, narrow areas. Not narrow. Uh, low ceiling, I guess. <laughs> So you can't really pogo them or... We'll fight some of them soon. Also, I forgot that I have charm notches that I can use that I haven't. Dash master that makes you dash more often and also downwards. But I don't like using it because sometimes you dash downwards where you don't want to and that can really mess up your movement. So here's the devout. I'm gonna lure it this way and just go across. And here's the, the fake wall or a breakable wall. We're in the Weaver's Den. It's just a very small area. Only two checks. Come on. Something good. Nope, another grim child. this way. I usually get this stag on the other side of this, so I don't go through this that often. Well. Okay. We're in distant village. stack station here. The bench is broken. That's sad. You can't rest. 
thankfully, these lovely people have a bench for us. Our friends, welcome, sit and rest. Oh. Oh no. Hi, Odo, how are you? We got got. We got trapped. It's for the best, though, because there are a lot of items there. do it like this no that was very bad i shouldn't heal okay i think one great slash and one descending dark gets rid of them do this because there's only geo on the other side oops don't die self just kill those just for soul well that was useless key okay that's our second because we have one at her father so hmm, we'll see is mystere okay that allows us to swim in acid so that unlocks some areas for us. Sometimes there's an enemy here, sometimes there isn't. I'm not gonna complain. Dream Wilder, we don't need that. Collector's map, it looks important, it's not. Uh, in vanilla, it, it uh, lets you see all the grubs on the map, which is really nice. Didn't forget anything, we're good. And we have a real bench here, which is nice. And that's it for Deep Nest. Um, next. Let's go... Well, there's a lot of checks here. Let's do this. And then we'll go to Howling Cliffs, I think. Mm, this check is out of the way. Maybe I don't do it. There's one here, though, that I need. Now I can swim in acid! Yay! Okay, we got more health. Never mad about that. One item I would love to have right now is Fragile Strength. It's the last of the fragile charms. And it, as its name implies, it makes you deal more damage. And it's really significant. Dream Gate, that's useful. 
Actually, maybe I'll put a dream gate now. Let's use this. Um, I, I, it's, it allows you to warp to a place. But I tend to forget to use it. But we'll see, maybe we'll use it. Salubra's Blessing, that's actually nice. It's not needed, but when you rest at a bench, um, if you wait a little while, all your soul gets healed. Uh, so, that can be really nice before a boss or. Especially before the final boss. Although the final boss doesn't need that much. Doesn't need it really, but. Depending on how you play, but. Lifeblood Heart gives you. Instead of giving you two extra. Uh, four extra. Arts, it gives you two. Okay, so that's it for that. We can't get that one. Um, I'll get these three checks. And then we'll go to Howling Cliffs. I think. Grubs, and a lot of grubs. That's good. I should go back to grub powder at some point, but okay. Hmm. It's always a worry that uh, something good is in an isolated check, but you you can never know. So I'm just gonna go here real quick. I also like to clear areas if I can, uh, but that's not always the best strategy. I mean, if you're if you're there, but like going back to an area to clear it is not always the most efficient way of doing things. But it feels good to clear. Well, you're changing through areas. We have a twenty-five dollar donation come in from anonymous. It says thank you for the great Hollow Knight randomizer run. Thank you for your donation. Thank you so much. It's really nice and generous. Oop. Come on, give us something good. Nope. You tried. That's okay. We have no. There's one stag station that you can only access with the stag. I wish I had it, because that's where also where we're going.
these enemies usually have more health than that, but in the randomizer they made it so you can kill them easier because you can kill them with some charms. Um, and But that takes a while if they have full health. So I think that's why they do it that way. Well, don't forget checks. So it really takes four like uh, basic fireballs or like standard, but uh, in this they take one. So that's the way you're supposed to kill them uh, originally. Fear of the Fallen, we don't need that. Um, and it's... Um, it gives you a huge damage boost when you are at one heart. Which is used in, in some speedruns, I believe. But I'm not confident in doing that. <laughs> I mean, it's nice to use it when you have an extra, an extra notch or something, but... Oh! No, it's a real one. All the mimics were really early on. Wait, did I forget something? No, I didn't. I don't think. Oh yeah, I did. It's right here. Howling Wraith. So this is a dupe. Come on, Cornifer, give us something good. Well, I won't say no to that. Now we can store more coal. Which is nice. I usually come uh, here going downwards instead of going upwards. So I'm a little... Where's this item that I missed? Oh, it's, it's the one all the way up. Okay. Leader, um, it gives you more soul when you hit enemies, even more than soul catcher. Dreamer, we only need one more thing, which is crazy. That's crazy. Maybe... Maybe Mato has it, no? We need Void Heart. Maybe it's in vanilla. Maybe I'll go to... Well, no, I can't go there, actually. It's hidden behind a thing. Oh, wait! I forgot to do this! I'm silly. When you're used to going through um, an area a certain way, Sometimes you forget stuff.
she silly can confirm. Yeah. <laughs> you would know. Do you have it? No. That's funny. This is Joni. And she has Joni's blessing. Second time something like that happens in the seed. That's interesting. Um, okay. Let's go back to Dirtmouth real quick. We'll go to Grubfather as well. We'll see Breda. She now has a little house here and an item for us. She's sleeping. And she has a diary where she gushes about us. Later on, if you fight Zoat, the, the grumpy old man we saw earlier, uh, at the Colosseum, he then come here, comes here and she gushes about him and he like talks her ears off about himself. <laughs> but it's cute. Look at them all! Yay! Wow, so much money. That's a rancid egg. Okay. Another grub. Oh, essence. We need that. Wait, do we? No, we don't need it anymore. Do we? No. And the simple key. So I have two simple keys. Hmm. I like Mark of Pride, it's, it uh, makes your range better. Okay, there's an item here. I didn't check it earlier, I don't think. No, yeah. Leave me alone. Another tramp pass, okay. Let's get these three items that are here. Sometimes items uh, get left behind if there are lifeblood masks or their soul. So you can use them again. We don't need an arcane egg, it's a relic. Dash slash, wait. I forgot to do that. Uh, it's okay. Um, let me see, I don't think I can. Also, I should change my charms. Well, like, yeah, change my charms, because I don't need greed. Uh, what do I want? I want soul eater. Maybe Spell Twister. Always missing the Void Heart, that's true. And... Eh. That's it. Uh, yes, I was coming here for a reason. Which is... To get that check down in the basement of Sly where you are it's revealed to you that he's the master the nail master hi Kyles what did he give me? lore, thank you don't need it though another grubby uh, okay wait, oh yeah you know what? Let's see. That would be funny. Maybe I just warped at the exact place I was. That's fine. Um, so since we have all dreamers, we can open the Black Egg Temple. And there are two checks there. And it could be... a uh, Void Heart. Which would be funny. We can also grab that bench so it's easier to warp here when we do get Void Heart. And Fragile Strength! I'm actually really happy I did that. 
Uh, let's equip it. It will do much more damage. And Stagnant Stag is also... Uh, also unlocks some checks. So I will do that real quick, because it's, it's fast. Oopsie. Yeah. <laughs> there it is! We have go mode! Okay. Um, let's go back. Um, okay, well, you know what? It's perfect timing, actually. Oh, I forgot to do something. Come back. No, I, I don't need to, actually. Okay, let's fight. The Hollow Knight. The namesake of the game. I could also uh, upgrade my nail a little bit more, but... this attack. Okay, yeah, it's fine. And... The famous get good. Get good! So let's try to get good. Okay. This was the last boss, but... There's more. Oof. Let's try this. The game heals you after Hollow the Hollow Knight, so... But this is pretty cool. Give me chills sometimes, even though I'm used to it. Okay, everything in this fight, almost everything, does two damage. So. Ow! Sorry. Okay. That was pretty good. Hopefully, we do it. This was the first phase. Stop moving! No, not the ball. Okay. Oh, I'm out of soul. Okay. Should be done soon. I would hope. Not dumps yet. Is she done now? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna heal one because it does two damage just in case I get hit by a laser. And that's time. That's GG. This was Hollow Knight, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. I'm glad I I didn't die. <laughs> you did far better than I ever did. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure with practice you can do anything. Well, the uh, outfit phase for a little bit, too. Do you have any shoutouts you'd like to give regarding your run or Hollow Knight in general? Um... 
um, there's Discord for Hollow Knight. You can join that for the randomizer for mods. Um, other than that, um, I'm gonna check my the items real quick to see how many mimics we got. I think it was five, but just to make sure. Um, I will let this run now. But uh, apart from that, I'm just really happy to have been uh, running this for Randomizer for Nepal and this great uh, cause. And uh, thank you for hosting the infamous bug. It was uh, it was great. I'm I'm happy. I'm happy with this. This was also like it's just perfect on timing. We 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 want some time. <laughs> So that's nice. Um, also, we're all very... The Hollow Knight community is really uh, excited that Silk Song should be coming this year. There have been some little breadcrumbs and we're hoping it's coming soon. Uh, Silk Song is the, is the sequel to Hollow Knight. Uh, that's in the works. So yeah. Um... Other than that, let's see our our stats. Thank you to Team Cherry, who made just uh, one of the best game ever, in my opinion. Uh, I really encourage you to try it. Try the randomizer. It's really fun. Uh, it's really great. Two hours, 41 minutes. That's, that's really good, actually. Yeah. Mimics, five. There were six. So I'll do... Three bucks per mimics. I said two, but uh, so I'll donate that in the next one, which is uh, Legend Donnelly doing Final Fantasy VI randomizer. Um, give them all the love and support. Uh, enjoy the event. Keep watching. Keep donating, and keep being awesome. And that's it. Yeah, and that is what. Great way to take a quick break here. We're going to be changing hosts very, very shortly for the stream. So don't you go-go anywhere, because we have Final Fantasy VI coming up, as mentioned. It will not be a terrible run at all, because the game is amazing. <laughs> and, and no, I'm not out of puns, but that's what I got. That's great. This has been your host, The Infamous Bug. It has been a pleasure being here. Keep some donations going. I'll be back hosting tomorrow night. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned. We're going to be switching hosts, so stream's going down for just a few, but stick right there. We'll be back shortly.